section three on the valves will actually be two parts. We'll break it up into uh, the second part. We'll actually show you the installation of the devices on the valves. But I wanted to make sure you understood what the two main types of valves are in your industrial settings. Uh, the first type, most common type, being gate valves. These are the turn wheels that you see everywhere in every industrial application from very small ones that you have on every house, every home for your hoses and up to the big party tray size, which we call for the big industrial wheels. Uh, the original way of locking them out is still the way that's available to you in the catalog. It's a set of five that carry everything from a one inch on up to a 13 inch individual gate valve. So these are available uh, and there are newer methods now as well involving gate valves, cable valves and so forth, but we'll show you that in a minute. Second main type of valve that's out there is called a ball valve. And one of the original ways we had of locking out a ball valve was a two-piece apparatus, three different sizes depending on the size of the ball valve itself, from very small to, as you can tell, very large. This was one of the original methods of locking out a ball valve. The newest method is this type of device, which is called a universal valve lockout. A couple different sizes, but the advantage to this is that it's only one piece, fits over the handle, it rotates the arm to hit the pipe itself, and you can use this to lock a valve on, you can use it to lock a valve off, and if you add a second arm, you can actually lock the valve in the throttle position. Second section of the valve installation shows how we're actually going to take some of these devices and put them on the pipe. I kind of put this display together so don't laugh too loud. There's different colors and different sizes, but it'll emphasize the different types of valves that we have. And again, the ball valves, if you remember from the first section, one of the original devices is a two-part device, uh, depending on the size of the valve, that you simply slip on over the handle, Press it up tight so that you can't move the handle into the on position. Lock and tag will go through the hole and your device is locked off. They can't move to the on position. This is the original device. The more universal device that's out there now is actually called the universal valve lockout. This is a one piece device, simply slips on over the handle release the catch, swing the arm over to the pipe valve body, you tighten the wheel down, and lock and tag, we'll go through the side into the handle and the device is locked out. Very easy to use and as I said, if the, in many occasions in a production run, you can actually buy this device with two arms so that you could use and put this valve handle in a, a throttled position so that they can run it at a certain flow if they choose. And of course you can run this in an on and off position as well. So very handy device. Getting back to the cable lockout and the different things it can do, I've tried to show here. Cable, you can run it through really whatever you want. As long as it's got a hole in it, you can put it in. We've taken it through two of these gate valve handles, actually three gate valve handles and a gate valve device. You run them through as quickly as you can, put it down through the top of the device, squeeze down on the handle, put your lock through one of the holes, and all of them are locked out. So those are the main types of valve lockouts that you can use uh, besides the gate valve and the, and the what we call the party tray type, which is this type. 